campus. Another one is sexual harassment. At the moment, we are investigating two or three cases. One of the lecturers involved is being demoted because the act did not happen, so he has been caught in the process. The council is meeting this week, and that senior or principal lecturer is going to be demoted to a lower level because of his terrible attitude towards students, female students especially. I would like to call on our male lecturers to please regard our female students here as our own children. We should not try to violate them, we should not try to harass them unnecessarily. There's a very serious case we are investigating in CAS that led even to the death of somebody and related to, to sexual harassment. We are taking this matter seriously. We are ready even to close this campus if lecturers cannot be behave decently. Because there is no point you create an environment where young female students cannot feel comfortable to study. And we are trying also to bring in a software whereby every CA will be uploaded before the exams. And any lecturer who refuses to do that will be queried. The reason is because those who are doing sexual harassment are using the manipulation of the CA in order to intimidate students and to manipulate the results. We are taking this matter seriously and as long as I remain here as rector, I will ensure that we fight this menace to a dead stop. Thank you. So I would like to get the support of all of you so that we can carry this campaign across all, ca all the campuses of Kaduna Polytechnic. Sure. And I hope all our lecturers and students will come on board so that we can sanitize this Polytechnic sure. and bring it back to its past glory. I would like to thank also the Dean of the Student Affairs. I would like to thank all officials of the different unions I've seen here, as well as the leaders of the MSS and the FCS. And I appreciate your cooperation. That's how we are supposed to live in this country, as brothers to one another. At least we have something in common among us, and let us therefore work together to promote those common ideals. Yes. All right, so, thank, thank you very much, sir. What uh, message do you have for the entire Cardinal Polytechnic student? Because right now you are defending the rights of the student, most especially the female students studying in this camp. So what advice do you have for them so as to also abide by the rules of this great institution? Well, my appeal is for all of us to come on board and follow the dress code properly and then avoid even those who break the dress code or whatever. Let's find ways of handling that. Now, I would also appeal to my lecturers to behave well and behave as human beings. We believe we, most of them are Christians and Muslims and let them follow the teachings of these religions in the way they relate to their female students and behave well so that we can produce the right quality of Nigerians. What kind of students are they trying to churn out to the nation if they continue to harass them? What kind of nation do we want for the future? Nigeria is already in a lot of troubles. Yes. Why are we adding new dimensions to yes, our troubles? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would like to appeal to our lecturers to behave well. I would like to appeal to our students to dress properly. That's my message. Yeah. Right, right, sir. Sir, the issue of uh, indecent dressing have never been taken this serious. And the issue of student rights have, ne have never been protected over the years by the leadership of Polytechnic. Uh, not Polytechnic. What can you have to say on the uh, drastic action that you have taken towards this part? No, I think we have been, it's there in the guidelines. People are not only implementing it. Yes. The booklets, the, pro the, 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 the different uh, student, uh, you know, handbooks, everything. All the guidelines are there. It's only implementation which is lacking. Today we are ready to implement it religiously, 